DIY mug painting. Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how I paint my mugs. Materials. You'll need a mug, paint and paint brushes, and a cup of water to clean your brushes. So the first thing you want to do is sketch out the picture you want to be on your mug. Then you're going to outline your picture with a very dark pencil and I use the Prismacolor 6B pencil. When you draw your picture, make sure your picture is horizontally flipped. I forgot to do that in this picture, but you will see what I mean later. Tape your picture onto your mug. After you're done aligning your picture, you're going to shade in the area where your picture is at so it will transfer onto your mug. You will see that Mickey Mouse's tail is on my right instead of the left because I didn't horizontally flip the image. After you're done transferring, you're going to paint in your picture. You want to make sure to paint it in layers, so if you feel that an area is not opaque enough, you should wait until it dries before you repaint on it. It's okay if it's not perfect right now because you can go back and clean it up later. So here I've painted the rest of the black areas. Now I'm going to mix my paint to make the perfect red to paint Mickey Mouse's pants. <laughs> I'm mixing a little bit of orange with the red to make it a little bit brighter. Now I'm going to be painting Mickey Mouse's pants in layers. Remember to paint the second layer on after the first layer has already dried. And the same for the third layer.
So now I'm done painting my mug. So here are some of the mugs that I painted. So this is actually me in a dinosaur suit stomping on the gingerbread house that I made this past weekend. So now you're going to bake your mugs depending on the instructions in the back of your paint. Mine says to let it air dry for one hour and bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. So when you're ready to bake your mugs, please remember not to preheat the oven or the mugs might crack. Place it in while the oven is cool and once it reaches the desired temperature, start timing. Do not remove the mug until the oven is completely cooled or it also might crack your mug. Once you've baked your mug following the instructions in the back of the paint, it should be dishwasher safe. So here's a little gift idea for you guys if you're planning to give these mugs to your friends or family for Christmas. So here I've made some fudge sticks. I have one with marshmallows, a plain one, and one with peppermint inside. These fudge sticks can be eaten alone or swirled in a hot cup of milk for some yummy hot chocolate. Place the fudge in your mug. Click on the mug if you would like to learn how to make this fudge. Write a little message for them. You can even add little baggies of extra peppermint and marshmallows. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.